What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Michael Knapp Fishing. Uh, today's video and next Tuesday's video are going to be a little bit different. Usually we try to do some like some tackle tips, stuff like that. Uh, but I'm going to show you all two of the brand new rods from Old 18. Uh, I had a hand in designing both of these, one more so than the second one. Uh, but Really, really excited to be able to bring these to you all, show you all a little bit about these. Um, we're going to kind of do a little bit of a B-roll voice dub over for really showing the rods because I am in my office. I wasn't able to go out to the boat. Um, so we're going to do a little bit of B-roll kind of deal on it, but uh, we're going to talk about these rods. We're going to roll into it. We're not going to be really, really long videos, uh, but Tuesdays, as you all know, are kind of our shorter videos and the Fridays are our fishing videos. So we're going to roll that intro and then we'll get into it, guys. All right, guys, so I wasn't really sure which one I wanted to go with first, which one I wanted to start off with first. So we're gonna start with the one that I already have right here as I was filming all the B-roll before I actually started this. This is the swim bait rod that I told you all about. Everybody knows a whole lot about it. This is a rod that you all have seen on my channel a lot. You've seen the prototype. I have absolutely put the prototype through the ringer. You know, I, I put it through as much as I could and it never failed us. It, it took us a while to get exactly what we wanted. Now that we've gotten it, it is, it's, I, I feel that it is perfect. We are going to have, I believe, four of these. I have the, I, I, I've got the one here. I'm trying not to give away too much detail about it just yet, but let's, let's just, let's just go ahead and do it. This is the swim bait series by old 18 called the Traverse. I have been working on this since December of 2020. That's how long we've been working on this, guys. I have it right here. This is the Traverse. This, my blood, sweat, and tears have gone into this. Uh, we, We've really prototyped this a lot, done a lot of work with it. Obviously, I didn't have a hand in building it. Jake put all his blood, sweat, and tears into building it. But I finally have it. We did make a few modifications over what we originally had in the prototype, but still everything I wanted in a swim bait rod. So, first things first, we are going to have, I, I believe it's four, it's either three or four models. Now, the first thing everybody always wants to criticize anybody about a swim bait rod how big of a lure can it throw? Can it throw 12 ounces? Can it throw 14 ounces? <sighs> Guys, if y'all have a flipping swim bait that is that big, guess what? I made sure we had one. Our biggest model will throw up to 16 ounces. Guys, that's one pound. It will throw a 16 ounce lure for you all. I wanted to make sure that we had every basis covered when it came to these swim bait rods. So we have the, the smaller ones that'll throw, you know, two and three ounce swim baits. This one here is the Magnum Heavy. This is my preferred model, uh, mostly because the, the bigger one, I can't remember what we're calling it, but the one that'll throw up to a 16 ounce lure, it's a hoss, guys. It is a beast of a rod and I don't need that. I don't throw those massive glide baits and massive swim baits. I, I, I don't ever go over eight ounces. I don't know that I ever go over seven ounces. So I didn't need that right off the bat, but we still wanted to have it. We still wanted the option because I know that we've got some people out there that are throwing some of those bigger like Roman maids or stuff like that. So we wanted to make sure that everybody had the ability to go with one if they needed it. So this is just just this Traverse, this is the Magnum Heavy Traverse. Uh, I wanna say this is like the next, the step right before the, the big dog. So let's go over it just a little bit here. Uh, we do have the carbon fiber grips that I love so much from the prototype. It is beveled as you can see here. But one thing that I want, I wanted to add this fat butt on the end of it. Originally it was just completely flat and I liked it, but it did dig into my ribs just a little bit every now and then when I had a funny hook set. So I feel like with this, it was really gonna help us out quite a bit. 
Then we're gonna go up here to our reel seats. We do have the open reel seat up here so you have constant contact with the rod blank. We have our double locking reel seat. As always, guys, we will not be making rods without double locking reel seats anymore. I wanna try and get that to focus there for you to see it. It is a double locker and that is a necessity when it comes to big swim bait fishing. We went ahead and we stayed with the nice fancy top lock on here. I love the way it looked. It's nice and large. I just really love that all around. Now, one complaint I had on the prototype, Jake took care of it. He fixed it for me. We needed a bigger hook keeper. As you can see here, that is a hefty, hefty hook keeper. I wanted to ensure that all hooks were going to be able to get in there, even if we were running a one and two aught or however big swim bait or uh, glide bait hooks you all run on those massive Roman maids and all that. Just I, I don't, I don't throw a lot of them. The biggest glide bait I throw is like the Storm Arashi and the uh, River to Sea S waiver. I don't really get into whole big glide baits a heck of a lot, but I wanted it to be there just in case for everybody else. Now we do have the Traverse here, the old 18 logo and the American flag as always because we are 100% American made rod company. This is the 7 foot 10 inch Magnum Heavy uh, capable of 17 to 40 pound test line and it will throw a 2 to 8 ounce lure. Guys, this is an absolute workhorse. Um, I absolutely love this rod. I was showing some people earlier. You can see it does not bend much in the back. There's not a whole lot of flex to it, uh, but the tip is so sensitive. All of the action is in the tip. Uh, this is a heavy, moderate fast action. I felt like the fast action was too much and it provided a little bit of a liability uh, with the tip breaking. So the mod fast, um, it bends, it, it still bends further back. I'm gonna see if I can do this and show you guys. It still bends pretty close to the tip up here, but it just really pins those fish really nicely with that mod fast instead of just a plain fast. Uh, you know, actions are, are different across all rod manufacturers. Everybody has their own opinion of what's what. And this is what we felt was the best bet to go with. Now, one cool thing that I absolutely love because it was a concern that I brought up. I gotta see if I can do this without smacking into anything. We're throwing big baits, big line. We need hefty guides. So we went with double, let me, let me pull it. Let me see if I can get it to focus. Both the top and the bottom have the double seated guides up here for maximum stabilization on there and it's going to give you the maximum amount of durability out of your rod. And the only one that doesn't have that is of course the top one because you can't do that with the top one, but every other eye, or I'm not every other, I'm sorry, every eye besides the top one, as you can tell by the double wrap here, every single one of them has that double pronged system in it to ensure 100% satisfaction on that and to ensure that your eyes are not gonna be going anywhere. Guys, we're using some new special blanks uh, that Jake Brewer, our master rod builder with Old 18, he has gone through a lot of uh, a lot of blanks. He wanted to ensure that we got the best of the best. So these are North Fork blanks. As always, uh, everything will be North Fork blanks from now on, uh, except for, I believe, the replacement for the hollow point because we are keeping the hollow point blank and just changing a couple things up. So I believe that's the only one that isn't a North Fork blank. Everything in it is a premium components. We went with Sea Guide eyes on these. Um, I know a lot of people uh, remember me harping so much on Fuji guides. I love Fuji guides, I still do. But we want, we felt that the Sea Guides were a little bit more stable and a little bit more durable with the double prongs on there. So we just wanted to make sure that we had exactly what we wanted in the uh, in this swim bait rod. Because let's be free her, a swim bait rod is a big investment. Um, these are not going to be your typical cheap Walmart rods and with that being said yes they are going to be a little more expensive than our other rod series but we're putting in much higher components uh, much higher grade components uh, higher grade blank we we made this rod to be the high quality swim bait rod that everybody's going to want to know so it, it was a big deal to me to be able to make sure that we got every single detail in there perfect 
uh, no matter the cost. So like I said, guys, we wanted to go all in on this rod and that is truly something that I believe we have done. We are actually gonna be out this week. Uh, I've got a couple of guys coming from out of state, some of the old 18 anglers. They're gonna get to be some of the first ones to try this rod and uh, really test it for themselves. I've done all the testing on it, but they're really gonna get to throw it themselves, see it themselves and really try it. So uh, really looking forward to that. But guys, do me a favor. If y'all like these videos, please, 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 please hit that like button hit that subscribe button leave me a comment down in the comment section below let me know y'all are watching let me know what you all think about this rod is it everything you thought I was gonna bring you all is it everything that I promised you all because I know that uh, I've, I've been talking about this rod for a long time well a year now on this channel you all have seen it in action and I just haven't really told you all in a whole lot of times. Um, I know I've mentioned every now and then that I was using a prototype rod from Old 18, and that was the Traverse. So we're, we're super excited to bring this to you guys. But guys, please like, comment, subscribe, notifications on. If y'all ever see me out, Cherokee, Douglas, Watauga, South Holston, wherever, come say hey, Bright Blue Falcon. We'll talk a little bit of fishing, and I'll let you check out the Traverse. Take care, everybody.